Hello. <laughs> Trying to get situated. Seeing if this is starting. Sometimes the sound doesn't start at first, so that's why I tend to wait. Because the sound isn't good at first sometimes. Okay, so this video today, I am coming to you from, I'm in my car, and it's pouring rain. Pouring rain. It is so soft in here. I live on Vancouver Island, the West Coast, and it is so rainy lately. So rainy every day. It's getting a little crazy. But what this video about is how long until I get results, right? I know a lot of people want to know that when they are doing ISP personal trainers. So I got that when I was a personal trainer, right? And then um, when I help women with their healthy eating, right? Healthy eating and living. It's like, oh my God, I'm not getting, you know, the whole panic about results. And so if you're, if you're focusing on the weight, right? So you want some, you want the weight loss, like you're waiting and waiting. Hi, Bev. <laughs> you're waiting for the weight loss, right? And you're wondering, oh my God, it's not coming in. You're so focused and so focused. And I've talked about this before where what you, where you po put your focus, that's where it expands or grows. So if you put your focus on weight, it's only going to grow. But that's not really what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> what I want to uh, talk about is that I think sometimes we think that results are going to come really fast or faster. And so we tend to, hi, Bev, <laughs> we tend to give up, right? Now, again, I've told my story about when I was going through perimenopause and I gained the weight and I searched for things, you know, I tweaked my diet a million times. I was exercising a lot, so it wasn't that. I knew it was food. And so I kept trying to find what's going to work. And I read and I researched and I did all I could, right? And then, like I said, I went down to 97 pounds. So I ended up weighing what I did in high school at the age of 48, which is pretty crazy. But the thing is, the thing is, guys, I was high raw for one and a half years. One and a half years. How long did it exactly take me? I'm not positive because I mean at least six months because I was not focused on weight at that time I was focused I was focused on my weight but when I found raw food and I loved the food and I was so passionate about it I was going to eat like that no matter what so my focus became on health I started learning a lot more about health when I began looking about uh, looking into perimenopause and looking into all that my focus changed from weight to health and that made me not focus so much on my weight thing is is it takes a while especially during midlife for any results, I have to say, right? I have to say. So if, if you want the weight loss, right? It's going to take a little while. If you're exercising and you hope to get the body tone. So I was also a personal trainer, but I also before that for years was really, really into bodybuilding, which very few people know. I'm only 5'2", but I worked out uh, for years in bodybuilding because my body was, I was really, really slim and skinny when I was young and I wanted shape. I had no shape whatsoever. So I got into weight training. The thing is, that's another thing. So when I was a personal trainer, women would come and they go, oh, I don't want big muscles. I don't want big muscles. And I would kind of laugh and go, oh my God, if you knew how long and how much work it takes to get big muscles, you ain't even going to get close to that, <laughs> right? That is, I worked out five days a week, three hours a day. For six months before I noticed my muscles. So I think the thing is, is that we, you know, as women, as a society, we want things so fast. We want results so fast. And so we tend to give up too fast too, right? We give up. We don't continue to do the things that need to be done. Or you're fired up and you do things for a week or two or a month or three months or whatever. And you're really good at that. And so then when you don't see the results you're expecting, you're like, you're so disappointed. You're so disappointed because it's like, it's been three whole months. And that seems like a long time. When you're doing the work... That's a long time. When you're taking the time, when you're working at something really hard, when you're putting in your all, if you are, some people don't, but you know, then after three months, I get it. I get it. It can feel like I'm doing this for some, but three months is not a long time. You guys, it's not a long time at all. For one, especially if you're in midlife, your body has accumulated a lot of toxins. It's accumulated a lot of crap in it. I mean, we're talking about a lot of stuff that we have to get rid of. And also it's our behavior, our patterns, our beliefs and all that. I mean, we've been alive. If you've been like me, 53 years, almost 53 years, there's a lot of stuff, right? We have a lot of baggage <laughs> by this time in our life. Hi, Denise. 
So we have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to shed, a lot of patterns to change, a lot of beliefs to change, a lot of detoxing to do within our body. And it, so it doesn't happen overnight. Even three months, you know, is a very, very short time for anybody to notice big results in the way they look in their body shape, weight or anything. Very short time, especially in midlife. So I just want to say to you that, like I said, you know, I was just explaining to Denise how long it took me to lose weight in perimenopause. You know, I was high raw for a year and a half. And that's like, that's a long time, you guys. That's a long time. Like it may seem like, oh, she just went on, went eating really clean. I didn't lose weight that fast, right? Took me a while. But you can. But the thing is, is that you get, you get positive changes almost right away. So I have some clients that I'm working with and I always am consistently, but Sometimes I forget to mention their changes. Within a week or two weeks, they are noticing health changes absolutely positively. More energy, loving the food, less cravings, um, usually sleeping better, usually feeling like um, healthier, feeling lighter, not feeling as bloated, um, more mental clarity, moods balanced. So all of these changes that you that happen very fast when you're focused on health, when you're measuring the health benefits, how you feel, all of that, yes. But if you're getting on the scale and trying to hope that's going to come down, or if you're exercising with weights or something and hoping that, got to run, see you, Denise, <laughs> and hoping that you're going to gain, you know, want to gain shape or slim trim body and, and, you know, nice shape and all that, that's going to take a while. And so I think when people focus on the energy, the exercising, they focus on the food, they want to see fast results from that, right? Especially in middle age, the results are going to be too fast on that type of thing. Although I have had women in one month lose eight pounds in my two-week program, lose four to six pounds. Um, so definitely you can, not everybody, but yes, you, you stop the weight gain for one. And something to celebrate in weight in midlife is stopping the weight gain. Let me tell you that. If you go for a period of time and not gain weight, you are successful. Let me tell you that. That is success. <laughs> but I just want to be there saying that, hey, you know, hang in there. Hang in there. We may talk about all these fabulous changes and things that worked for us, but it doesn't mean it happened right away. And also, I am having something great starting, a 30-day program, in November 1st, really fast. See if this goes. But I want people, it, it's so great. It's going to be so good because we're going to be working on these whole mindset shifts too. Of course, you're going to get the meal plans, the recipes as, as always, which totally gives you the more energy, helps you lose the cravings, balance your blood sugar levels, improve your moods, uh, make you feel lighter in the digestive problems, all of that. So you're going to health wise feel so much better, but you're also going to work on your beliefs, shifting um, <clears throat> habits and all that, and really working on the mindset to be successful all the time and not get back, not get down on yourself anymore. Um, have the health to focus on, like really learn what, how to change what you focus on and how that makes you feel so much more successful. And then when you're feeling more successful, more happy, more vibrant, more positive and confident that can change everything in your life. I've seen it with clients. I know this is true. And that's why I really want to state that, that this program, we're really going to focus on that too, because it's not just about the food. It's also, it's the mind, body, spirit. And that's what this program's on in 30 starting. It's going to be November 1st. It's going to be a 30 day program. Oh my God, it's going to be so good. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so make sure you're part of my community for women. If you're a woman over 40 at women creating healthy lives, they're on Facebook and of course, I will be posting more about the program I'm running. Anyways, um, yeah, I have more videos on YouTube and my site, dianamarchand.com. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful night. I just came from the gym. That was my motivation to talk about this today. So now I'm going into the house. Bye. <laughs>